Oh, I think we we certainly struggled to sort of find out find the right line and length. I think our fast bowlers bowled particularly well on that wicket today. Um, you know, their opening spells, and then again in that last session they were very very good and created quite a bit. Um, it was probably the spinners today that we really did struggle uh, to find a, a, a right line and length and. and um, with those two guys coming hard at us, you know, put us on the back foot a little bit. So, um, in saying that, it is, it's a pretty good wicket and, and a very, very fast outfield. So, um, but, you know, it's, it is probably 30 or 40 above par for the day, I reckon. As a, as a unit? As a spin bowling unit? I was, yeah, it wasn't our best day as a unit today, obviously, but, um, you know, that's, that's the reasons we have, you know, these tour matches and these lead-up matches is to, to sort of work out these things and, and to work out how we're going. And, you know, today wasn't a great day for the spin group, but I think as we went on during the day, we, we started to find out what was working and fields and, and different speeds. So that was a quite a slow wicket um, we found. So we, we, we sort of had to adjust up in our, in our pace a little bit, which um, you know, we, we, didn't, we didn't at the start, and, and gradually through the day we worked that out. So like I said, that's the reason we play these tour matches and to work out the conditions and get some overs under the belt in these sort of conditions, which is different to what we're used to at home. Yeah, we we studied their, some of their bowling quite hard um, in the lead up to the to, or to this tour. So, and we noticed that they did bowl sort of 90 k's plus, um, which isn't always going to work. You know, I think the bowler like Nathan, you know, he does, he's not going to bowl that fast. You know, that's not, that's not his game, and he's not going to change his game. You know, just because it worked for someone else. But um, you know, I, I think that's something we do have to look at as as we go through the through the series and work out. You know, if, if that's the best way to do it. But um, yeah, like I said, that's the reason we're playing these games to, to, to work those sort of things out. My bowling a little quicker. Yeah, I think I think I sort of bowl probably of the three spinners the, today. I was probably the quickest of them. Yeah, but that that comes quite naturally for me. I used to be a, all the way all the way through my career. I've been a little faster than sort of the average spinner. Yeah. Uh, well, the first que yeah, the first question. I well, being a, I'm a little shorter than the other two. They sort of they did get played off the back foot quite a bit more. They were getting extracting a bit more bounce out of that wicket so um, it was probably a little bit more skid from my bowling and, and more sort of bounce and turn from the other two um, and reverse yeah there was some yeah there was reverse swing yeah there was plenty of we got the ball going reverse and like like I mentioned before the the quicks bowled very very well in that last little period there and created you know a lot of nicks that sort of went wide and short and that sort of thing and um, yeah so they, they bowled really well with that that ball that was yeah it was going reverse I'd assume so, yeah. Yeah. Gambier batted beautifully. Yeah, he's, he's a very good player, isn't he? And an extremely good player of spin bowling. So, um, yeah, he's, he's not surprising the way he batted. That's the way we've seen him bat in the past. I don't know. We, we know they're good players, you know, regardless of, you know, being an A side or, or their full strength side. They're good players and they're good players of spin. We know that. So, um, like I mentioned, it wasn't our best day today. And, as a spin group, it probably wasn't our best day, but you know we've got, we've got two more days, and we'll bowl again in the morning, and, and no doubt in the second inning. So um, you know we'll have a chance to sort of redeem ourselves. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. I'd... Yeah, well, I guess that's. It was nice to get a couple of wickets, so hopefully, I think in that last spell that I bowled, I sort of found a bit of a rhythm, and um, yeah, hopefully, you know that that sort of bodes well for a for a test selection at some stage, but. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. You know, st we've still got plenty more work to do and, and training sessions and two more days of this game before they before they start looking at what their lineup will be. Well, I guess we've got plenty of options. We've got 18 people here at the moment. Um, you know, so we've got plenty of options. Whether you know it's Maxwell and Lyon or myself and then Ashton as well. So there, there's still plenty of options to to what that first makeup will be of the test squad. So. Um, I'd imagine at some stage there will be there will be two two spinners, whether it's here in Chennai or not. You know, that's for someone else to answer. Oh, I, I guess it was a step up in class again today, and I think all three spinners found that. That you know, when they came hard at us, we, we sort of struggled to adjust a little bit. So, and Ashton being the you know the, the youngest, you know, considerably probably struggled the most out of all of us. But you know, he'll learn. You know, it was a, it was, it's a great learning experience for him, and uh, I've got no doubt he's going to play. You know, plenty of cricket at this level, so um, you know it was, it was a great opportunity for him to, to bowl at you know that class of player, I think.